الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وعن حميد بن عبد الرحمن بن أوف قال إن رجلا من أصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال قلت وأنا في سفر مع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم والله لأرقبنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم للصلاة حتى أرى فعله فلما صلى صلاة العشاء وهي العتمة أي اضطجع هويا من الليل ثم استيقظ فنظر في الأفق في الأفق فقال ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا حتى بلغ إلى إنك لا تخلف الميعاد ثم أهوى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إلى فراشه فاستل منه سواكا ثم أفرق أفرغ في قدح من إداوة عنده ماء فاستنى ثم قال فصلى حتى قلت قد صلى قدر ما نام ثم اضطجع حتى قلت قد نام قدر ما صلى ثم استيقظ ففعل كما فعل أول مرة وقال مثل ما قال ففعل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ثلاث مرات قبل الفجر رواه النسائي Worship in the night Many times uh, Brothers asked the question, how was uh, the night prayer, the tahajjud prayer of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and as we know there are many narrations uh, that come, some companions that had noticed um, different things. So we find in this hadith uh, where a companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam carefully observed the night prayer, the tahajjud prayer of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and thereafter mentioned it so we can understand how and when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would, when he would get up, what he would do, what he would recite and how long his tahajjud night prayer was. <coughs> Humayd ibn Abdul Rahman ibn Awf reported one of the Sahabas, the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam narrated, he thought to himself during a journey with Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he should watch his Salah till he saw his deed. So the companion said that I observed Safar and traveling is really when things become clear. One of the meaning of Safar is Roshan and clear also because you cannot hide things one of the things if you want to get to know a person two things one if you have traveled with them and number two if you have had any dealings with them and then you will really know how a person is if you've traveled with them because any weaknesses shortcomings you cannot hide them when you're traveling and second is when you deal with someone how their dealing, financial dealings are, and how up to date they are, you will know how a person is. So the companion during the journey with Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he carefully watched and he said the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam offered the Isha prayer, which is also called Al-Atama. Thereafter the Isha prayer, he laid down for some time in the night. Then he awoke he looked at the horizon and he recited the verse Rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batila Till innaka la tukhlifu al-mi'ad So uh, till end of the side of this But we find in another narration That the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Recited the full ruku Now maybe the companion had heard this much So this is what the uh, muhaddisin mentioned Thereafter, after reciting this, he looked into his bedding and brought out the siwak, the miswak. Then he poured into a bowl some water from a water skin beside him. He cleansed his teeth and then he made ablution and stood up and then the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed. 
The Sahabi thought to himself that he had offered Salah for as much time as he had slept. Then he laid down till it seemed to him that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, had slept for as much as time as he had prayed. Then he woke and did that as he had done the first time. As he had recited, so Allah's Messenger وسلم, did that three times before the Fajr prayer. So this is uh, one part of the companion what he's mentioned how the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would uh, in, the, uh, in the Hajjah prayer how much Quran that he would recite. Now we find in another narration um, Umm Salama radiallahu anha she was asked about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa night prayer. <coughs> Sayyidina Ya'la ibn Mumlik Rahimahullah reported that he asked Sayyidina Umm Salama radiallahu anha, the wife of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa about the recitation and salah of the Prophet. She said, and how can you compare with this salah? He used to offer salah and sleep for so much time as he had prayed, and again offer salah for as much time he had slept, and again sleep for as much time yet pray till morning then she described his recitation making the description very vivid and word for word subhanallah how much quran the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam would recite in the night prayer sometimes just one ayah of the quran and he would weep the whole night this is the night prayer of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it really strengthens the soul. If we look, Allah Subhanahu uh, Surah Muzammil is a surah in the Quran uh, and the opening verses mention about the Tahajjud prayer, the night prayer. And if we look in the commentary of this surah, in the early times of Makkah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had to go through so much grief and what people had said to him when he announced that he is a Messenger of Allah. So to strengthen him, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentioned, read the Tahajjud prayer. And when he would pray to Allah at night, that would give him enough energy to give his da'wah during the day. So this is very powerful, du'as are accepted. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts du'as is to build our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is a burden on the nafs indeed there's no doubt for everyone we are all in the same uh, situation it is very difficult so you know if we can't read it the last part of the night try and read it a few of the cards in the first part of the night may Allah give us all the ability Ameen wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen